Welcome back Dynamite Pack. Today we're doing a bit of a little unboxing video. I found this uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild collector's box at Target for like $30 with all this cool Zelda stuff inside and I was like, that sounds fun. I didn't intend to buy it. I didn't buy it to make, thinking I was going to make a video. Let me, let me say that. But I, it arrived today and I was like, you know what, maybe I should just record an unboxing and show you guys what's inside this little collector's box. Well, it's not little as you can see, but uh, anyway, we're going to open it up and uh, right here on my couch, I'm going to set it down beside me and we're going to see what's inside. Alright, so the first thing is, um, looks like a massive sticker. And it has the four, um, oh gosh, I can't think of their names now. The four, <laughs> uh, guardians? Is, that's not right. Um, I forgot what they're called, but basically they were the ones that, like, uh, originally defeated the four divine beasts. It's all one big sticker. So, really cool. Uh, Daruk, Rivali, Mimfa, and Urbosa. And I'm, I'm blanking on, like, what their official title is in the games, but there they are. And next is a pin set. set. Oh, they're champions. That's the name. Champions. <laughs> a champions pin set. So we're going to actually pull this open because I want to actually look at the actual pins inside here okay so we have a little pin for each of the champions really cool let me see if i could give you guys a close-up so we have all four of them there they're kind of tiny but that's okay i mean i don't know what i'm gonna do with them i might put them on the bag that it came with actually so we'll get we'll get to that um, up next is a Legend of Zelda pen. So it's got a cool, um, oh, it's got the Divine Beasts on it. That's really cool. It's just a little, uh, little clicky pen to write with. And it has all the Divine Beasts on it. If you guys can see it or not. Uh, so it's like dark brown and then a, it's got the light brown design. So pretty cool. It's really light too. I like that. Nice little pen. Uh, there's a coupon card and then with to go along with your Zelda pen you have a Zelda journal so I'm gonna open this up I'm gonna clean up my mess when I'm done has a nice little um, logo there it's a hundred blind pages in the journal it feels nice too and it's got okay so that's the front it has the uh, Hylian symbol and the Triforce really nice leather or it could be fake leather but it feels like leather <laughs> so it's probably fake um, but nice nice pages inside and then this is one of my favorite things I like about journals it's got this little um, Elastic, so you can close the journal, keep it closed, and it even has um, a little ribbon, so you can like save your place that you're on, whatever you re recently wrote, and you can save your spot. So really cool, perfect to go along with the pen. All right, up next is a bento style snack box, which I might actually pack this up with some snacks and take it to work <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing that um, let me see if I can get this off of here and I'll show you guys what it looks like just to get the paper covering off it actually looks like the Sheikah slate on the front so there you go that's the top design on the lid and then it just unclips on all four sides and it's got a couple little compartments pretty nice 
Oh, and this is cool. Look, the inside, the insert can actually slide around. So um, that's cool. So you could size it to whatever kind of snacks you've got. If you've got something a little bigger, you can make a bigger space. Or if you need it like more in the middle, you can move it to be more in the middle. That's cool. I really like that. That's that's good thinking. That way you're not confined to one space, one size fits all. You know, you can make it work for whatever you're going to put inside. That's really cool. All right, so that is the uh, bento snack box there. Next, we have a water bottle. Breath of the Wild water bottle. Oh, it's glass. Oh, nice. With a protective silicone sleeve. That's a nice bottle. All right, so let's open it up and see what the bottle actually looks like. It's even packed nicely in styrofoam since it's got that glass in it. I did not know it was glass when I ordered this. I just thought it looked cool. I figured it was plastic. All right, nice. I, I, I need to wash it. It's got lots of styrofoam dust on it, but um, it's got this little silicone rubber uh, cover with the Z and the sword. I really like this design. This was one of the reasons I kind of went for this box was I really liked the water bottle. It wasn't like overly powering of a Zelda thing. It just had a Z and a, and the master sword. So it's like, this is nice enough where you could take it out somewhere and not feel like, <laughs> like you're just being a total geek, I guess, which is not, 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 that's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes I'm like, I don't want a bunch of stuff that has like, like obviously Pokemon and Zelda all the time or whatever it is that, um, you know, sometimes I like the more subtle things that um, just kind of have that vibe. And then it's got this really nice wooden uh, top on there. It's plastic on the inside and then the glass bottle. So nice. I'm gonna have to give it a wash and uh, clean it up because it's got all the styrofoam dust on it. But yeah, I would definitely use that. And then the last and biggest thing in here to store all of your Zelda stuff is a Zelda messenger bag, which is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Not too bad. It's basically just one big pocket. <laughs> um, doesn't have any other side pockets, but you know, if you wanted a little bag, um, like for a trip or something, could, it's a lot of space. It's pretty, pretty good size. Or if you wanted to use it even for like a laptop case, I bet, you know, if you weren't traveling super far with your laptop, you could throw a laptop and a charger in here with some, with a notebook and it'd be okay, I think. I mean, obviously it's not made for a laptop. It does have uh, some... There's a little bit of padding in here, but you know, if you knew you weren't gonna go like a long trip and you didn't need your laptop like super protective, if you were just going to like a Starbucks or something uh, to go sit and work, this could be a fun case to, you know, throw some things in to take with you for a short trip like that. But yeah, pretty cool. And again, just has that simple design on both sides. And then it's got a nice strap you can uh, adjust the size, got a zipper. So yeah, pretty cool. I guess for now, I'll just put all of the Zelda stuff in here until I decide what I wanna do with it all. I think I'll use the journal. Um, I'm actually, I have a little notebook, kinda like this one that I keep track of, like all my ideas for content and videos and Sometimes when I'm recording episodes of a series, I keep track of what happened in different episodes so I can make a proper thumbnail and title and everything. So this could be my next uh, notebook for that because the current one is actually kind of, I'm running out of pages. So this might become the next uh, little notebook for me. And uh, yeah, and uh, I might throw the pins, actually, I could put the pins onto the bag somewhere. So. We could decorate the bag up a little bit. And like I said, I might use this. I might actually pack this up sometimes and take snacks uh, to work and stuff. So yeah, and I'll definitely use the water bottle for sure. So 
The only thing that might not get used all the time is the bag just because I'm not always going places and I don't think I would actually use this as my work bag because it doesn't have, it's just one big pocket, but it's still pretty cool. Um, so that's what's in this collector's box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.